December 1, 1966, Staff Sergeant Kenesiro was an infantry squad leader. His platoon was navigating toward what seemed to be a peaceful village. It was an ambush. A vastly superior force of North Vietnamese troops was concealed within the village, protected by fortified bunkers, underground tunnels, and a big trench that ran through the entire village. The foundation of our profession is trust. And trust is earned through leadership that displays competence, courage, commitment, and caring. And Staff Sergeant Edward Kaneshiro lived those values. He lived the Army values. Only from later on uh, an adult uh, reading uh, the articles of uh, what he did, and the, uh, that's when it really dawned on me uh, the, the courageousness of his, his actions. And you know, I was impressed with you know what he did, and I hope to you know just be able to carry on. You know, uh, so that's when I subsequently joined the army, carry on a tradition, just uh, to be a you know a soldier. You know, in the United States Army, just proudly serve. He has mentioned we we currently have 43 Medal of Honor winners. This will be he'll be the 44th. It, they laid the foundation for our, our current generation so they can inspire um, our troopers right now um, each and every day to show that hey the, the smallest of individual can definitely make a big impact on, on our army. As we grew older then that's when we started to learn about his heroic actions in Vietnam and we heard stories from our relatives and it, it's so we tried, we heard that he had been recommended for the Medal of Honor, but nothing ever came of that. And we also tried, my sister and I will go to two senators in Hawaii, and we understand it does take time. And finally this year, he was awarded the Medal of Honor after 55 years. So we're very, very proud, and we're just overwhelmed with gratitude. As a Medal of Honor recipient, his legacy is not only now etched into stone in the 1st Cavalry Division, but it also is a legacy for that family, that family that gave so much to this country. Uh, and now he is part of America's history. Thank you for watching this video. For more content from the U.S. Army, check out our other video and subscribe to our channel.